I'm standing here today in St Paul Le Durance in the south of France and I'm a very happy boy because I've just visited the facility you see in the background where some extraordinary things are taking place. In fact, within that facility is the most important technology project on this planet today. That's ITER, which stands for the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor. And it is the world's first full-sized fusion power plant. And not many people know about it, but they absolutely should. So what they're doing is creating a massive machine to collide atoms together to make new ones. And in the process, release neutrons, which of course will boil water, make steam, turn turbines, and make electricity. Now that's important because when we look at the climate crisis and everything we have to do, we can't avoid all the things ahead of us in the short term. We have to make lots and lots of changes and deploy all the technologies that are available to us today. But if we look beyond that, as we get into the 2030s and 40s and the second half of the century, this kind of fundamental electricity production will define our future. Because fusion is clean, green, and essentially about unlimited fuel. So it changes absolutely everything. Now, if that's not inspiring enough, I want to tell you a little bit about the people working there, because I find this incredibly inspiring. The scientists and engineers in that building come from China, Russia, the United States, the EU, India, and Japan, and South Korea, and I might have even missed one or two. They are collaborating from all over the world. The funding is coming from those countries, and there are facilities manufacturing components for this project in all of those countries today. Now we see all this negative news around, and I think this is an incredible example of collaboration and innovation and shared values. So I just wanted to share that with you because most people don't know about it, and it is the most important technology project on the planet today, and more people need to know about it. And it makes me particularly happy and optimistic about our future to know this sort of thing is going on.